Get ready to uncover the mysteries of the moon. The moon plays a crucial role in shaping our world. Its gravitational force is a puppeteer, commanding the ebb and flow of our mighty oceans. But the moon doesn't stop there. It also acts as Earth stabilizer, keeping our axial tilt in check and our climate steady. This celestial body is not merely a physical entity, but a cultural monument too, inspiring countless myths, verses of poetry and guiding ancient calendars. Its phases have been observed for centuries, providing a rhythmic dance in our night sky. The moon is Earth's only natural satellite and is the fifth largest moon in the solar system. It is primarily composed of rock and dust. It has a variety of geological features, including craters, mountains and plains. The lunar cycle completes in approximately 29 and a half Earth days. It's the recurring sequence of changes in the moon's appearance as seen from Earth. We're familiar with the four main phases of the moon cycle. New moon, full moon, first quarter and last quarter. However, these broad phases can be further subdivided into eight distinct stages to provide a more detailed picture of the moon's ever-changing illumination. We begin with the new moon. This is the first phase of the moon's cycle. The moon is located between the Earth and the Sun, and the side of the moon facing Earth is in shadow. It appears as a dark circle in the sky and is not visible from Earth. The new moon is not visible from Earth because the illuminated side of the moon is facing away from us. During this phase, the moon's gravitational pull is at its strongest and can cause changes in ocean tides. These tidal variations are essential for activities such as fishing, navigation, and understanding coastal ecosystems. As we transition into the waxing phase, the moon seems to grow in the sky. This begins with the waxing crescent, where the moon appears as a thin crescent shape. The moon moves further away from the sun and more of its illuminated side becomes visible. As the moon moves away from its position between the earth and the sun, the illuminated area gradually increases. During this phase, stargazers can observe the moon's surface features, such as craters and mountains, becoming more visible as the sunlight reflects off them. We then reach the first quarter, where the moon appears exactly half illuminated. At this stage, the moon is a quarter of the way through its orbit around the Earth. It occurs approximately one week after the new moon. The waxing phase concludes with the waxing gibbous, where the moon appears mostly illuminated, growing ever closer to the full moon phase. Waxing gibbous moons are visible in the sky during the afternoon and evening hours. The full moon phase is a sight to behold, with the entire face of the moon visible from Earth fully illuminated. The Earth is sandwiched between the moon and the sun during this phase. During a full moon, the moon is at its brightest and illuminates the night sky with its gorgeous glow. Full moons are typically visible throughout the night, rising in the east around sunset and setting in the west around sunrise. Full moons have held cultural and mythological significance in various societies throughout history. They are often associated with folklore, rituals, and celebrations. Some people believe that full moons can influence human behavior or have supernatural effects, although scientific evidence for such claims is lacking. As the moon begins to shrink, we enter the waning phase. The waning gibbous sees the moon gradually shrinking, followed by the third quarter, where the moon once again appears half illuminated. The third quarter phase is similar to the first quarter, with half of the moon's visible surface illuminated. Finally, we reach the waning crescent, where the moon appears as a thin crescent shape in the sky, signaling the end of the lunar cycle. This phase occurs as the moon continues to move in its orbit around the Earth, and the illuminated side of the moon is gradually shrinking as it approaches the new moon position. From the new moon phase, through the waxing phases, full moon, waning phases, and back to the new moon phase again. The moon cycle is a fascinating journey.